Good day, everybody. It is Motivational Monday, you guys. And you know what? Let me just tell you the topic of this video real quick. This video, five signs to see if you have a fake friend in your life. Now, like I said, it's Motivational Monday. Um, I hope you guys had a blessed and great weekend. I just really want to let you guys know that I am trying so hard to do three videos or three uploads a week, but with my schedule, it's a bit crazy and I'm like not able to hit those three video marks like I planned on doing. But now I'm like, I'm gonna still make an effort to do the three a week, but I'm at least gonna try to at least get that one a week out um, at the bare minimum. All right, so let's get into this. Now, we all have people in our lives where we're always sometimes wondering like, is this person really in my corner? Is this person really my friend? Um, you know, how far do I trust them and things like that? Now, on, you know, we all know this. Unfortunately, we have people who, in our lives who appear to be a friend, but they really aren't. They're a fake friend. Now, there are a lot of different signs or a lot of different things that people do um, that will actually show you that they're not real or they're not genuine and that they're fake um, to you. But I have five things that are really five biggie. And if a person display all five of these things, like all five of them, for sure, they're definitely not your real friend. They're there. Um, you may serve, serve, serve a purpose in their life, but they're not a genuine friend to you. You might be a genuine friend to them, but they're not a genuine friend to you. And sometimes when you realize that these people are fake, it's really hard to cut them off because maybe you have history. Maybe um, you guys have a, another friend in common and you don't want to mess up the friendship with other people. You may have other friends in common. You don't want to mess it up. Um, maybe they helped you out of a bind and like, you know, they really had helped you out a while back about something. And now you feel like you owe them some kind of obligation, but you already felt like, yes, they did that then. But since then there's been different signs of showing you that they're not a hundred percent genuine outside of that one time they did something just great, but everything else after that have been crap. So now I'm going to show you five signs, five major things that will let you know that you have a fake friend in your midst and it's up to you to make a decision on how to deal with them. You can know they're fake and just do with them a certain way and say, okay, I know you're fake and you're to yourself and I'm going to deal with you a certain way, which I guess that could kind of make you fake too. So I, I, I don't know. Um, or you could say, you know what? I know that you're fake and there's no point in us being as close. Just keep them at a certain distance and you can confront them about that. Or you could just cold turkey cut them off. Whatever, it's up to you. You could pray about it, hope they will change. There's a lot of things you could do when you realize that you have a fake friend in your life. Me personally, um, I just limit my, um, when I realize I have a fake person in my life, uh, I try to limit my exposure to them. Um, Cause like I said, a lot of times they're not necessarily a horrible or bad person. They have good qualities, but they just have certain insecurities um, about themselves that they like to push off on you. And, you know, you just keep them in a certain space or keep them in a certain area, in a certain zone, and you go from there. So I have five things that, like I said, that will show you that you have a fake friend. Now, sometimes people may display maybe one of these qualities. They don't necessarily mean they're fake. They may have some flaws or whatever, but they don't necessarily mean they're fake. They may have that particular issue. But, have, but if they have all five, if they have all five, listen. This person, 100% legit, is fake. All right, so let's go on to number one. They're always competing with you or against you. They're in a competition. You realize that they're in a competition with you, but you're not in a competition with them. They're always trying to compete with you for one thing or another. Whether it is dressing better than you. Whether it is, oh, um feel like, okay, well, oh, well, you know, if you say, okay, well, you know what? I got me a blue Cadillac and then like a month or two later, oh, I don't got me a red Cadillac, uh, a year newer or whatever. That's a person who's competing with you. Okay. Cause they're trying to do more or do better than you. Or if they try to minimize they're trying to minimize something that you have accomplished. They're trying to minimize something you have. 
They're trying to make it seem like something that you have is not really that great. When they actually know, you know that they know that what you got is the bomb.com, okay? So that's a person who, who, that's one of the signs that you are dealing with a fake friend. They're either competing with you 100%, trying to one-up you on everything, or they are trying to minimize, or well, number two is really they're trying to minimize something that you have done, something that you have accomplished, where you know it's something great, other people around you know it's great. They know it's great, but they're trying to minimize that accomplishment. So those are one and two. Number one, they're competing with you. Number two, they're trying to minimize something that you have done. Um, number two, well, I think I actually have six. Okay. Number one, always competing. Number two, always trying to minimize something great that you have done. Number two, or well, number three, they're non-supportive. Now, people could be like, now this is what I mean by non-supportive. Let's say you have a business, right? Now, and let's say you're selling a product. Now, they may actually buy a product to say, okay, well, I'm supporting my friend. I'm going to buy this thing because I'm going to buy the one thing because I'm trying to say I'm supporting. I'm, I'm going to do it, but they don't do it genuinely. They don't genuinely want to do it. They're doing it because they feel like they have to. So they're going to get it or they, they're going to support you like that one time, but they really don't want to. They're doing it because they know that as your friend, they are supposed to do it. And if they don't, it will look bad. So now they're only doing, they're only doing, they're, they're only supporting you because if they don't, it will look bad. But they do it, but you know they're not really doing it with a clean heart or whatever because if you say, okay, well, how did you like the product? Oh, I haven't used it. Okay, you bought it three months ago. What you mean you ain't used it yet? Well, I really didn't have a need to use it. Then why did you buy it? You could have supported by advertising. You could have supported by buying it for somebody else who needed it. But you only bought it just to say you support it. That person more than likely is a fake friend. They're not genuine. All right, number four, they're always bringing up a, a mistake that you've made, like something that you did like this one time, because you, maybe you're a person who don't make a lot of mistakes <laughs> like me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Make plenty of mistakes. But maybe you, you made a mistake where they know about it, but every time a conversation, something similar to whatever happened, they actually bring that one thing up every time every single time like not not once in a while like they find a way to bring it up for whatever reason it's not one thing if you guys are having a conversation and y'all reminiscing about things that have happened in your life and things that you guys have done and you're both reminiscing and you know but no sometimes it's not even needed for them to bring it up or to remind you that oh all oh, of this one time you did this it was never needed it was not in a certain context where y'all was like reminiscing about okay these different errors that we made it's just that they were just bringing it up out of the blue just to say well oh you're not perfect because this is what you did that one time or whatever um number four or five i don't know what number i'm on um okay they do not like it when other people like you now what i mean by that is let's say you run in, you guys are out or whatever, and you guys run into some people um, that they know. And, you know, you're out and it's like, okay, well, let's go ahead and have dinner together since we're all out here or whatever. And you and the people that they know hit it off and these people really like you. They, and it bothers them. And you could physically see that they're there, but they're like, they have an attitude, they're feeling some type of way. Um, if those people want to hang out with you in the future, they're making excuses of oh well she can't hang out and then telling you oh well oh they say they can't hang out or whatever like they're they're basically trying to run interference because they don't want those people to hang out with you they don't want those people to really like you or they're mad though that those people like you and they're feeling some type of way so now they're trying to prevent like something a friendship or whatever from growing or brewing yes that person it's fake. Now, and then the last thing. They always 
uh, they say things like, well, everybody can't be perfect like you. Or like, oh, well, you think you're better than everyone else. Oh, or like things like that all the time. Like, even when it's like uncalled for. Even if you don't think you're perfect, you don't think you're better than anyone. However, they have an insecurity with themselves where they feel like, okay, this person is better than me. Like, they generally feel that about you. They feel like, wow, this person is better than me, and I'm going to push off my insecurities on them. So let's go ahead and recap. Number one, they're always competing, always competing with you. Number two, they're always trying to minimize some kind of accomplishment that you have to make it seem like, well, what you have is not great. They're trying to make it seem like your thing is not as great as theirs or whatever. Number three, they're always non-supportive. Like they act like they're supporting you. They may purchase a product, they, but they're not supporting you. They're not, um, they're, not true. they're not generally doing it. They're doing it because they feel like they have to to make it appear like they're being a supportive friend. But really and truly, they're not doing it. And they do it that one time and they will never do it again. Um, number four, they're always bringing up that one thing that you did. Like they said, that, that one time at band camp when you did whatever, whatever. Band camp was about 20 years ago. Get your life and get over it. You know what I mean? They're always bringing up that one little thing where that you've done something. And, and generally speaking, it's normally in an area where they have not made any error. So that one area of their life where they know they've never done nothing really wrong in that area. And they, so they're like, well, I know that I'm great in this area and that, and I'm going to bring it up every time. Cause I know they did that one thing bad in that area, whatever. Um, they don't like it when other people that they know meet you and really like you and genuinely like you. Like it really a hundred percent legit bothers them. And it's not on it's not on some joke ha ha kiki bothers. It's like legit it grinds them on the inside and they have like this brewing thing on the inside and then it actually kind of show on the outside, even though they think they kinda they're hiding it, but they're not. Um and they always making comments like, oh, you think you're better than everyone. Everyone can't be as perfect as you like. These are things that are happening. If you have a friend in your midst, and I just listed six things. This was supposed to be about five things, but I just listed six things. If you have a friend in your midst and they're doing multiple of these things, this is one thing that they're doing, like one of them or whatever. But of all these things, they're doing like four, five, or all six, bruh. Sis, this person is fake, 100%, and you need to really, really reconsider that person's position in your life. Today, I'm motivating you to want better for yourself, where you don't have to surround yourself by people who are fake, by, by people who are really not here for you. Because at the end of the day, these people are hindering your blessing. These people are hindering your growth. These people are keeping you from reaching your full potential because they have that, their negative energy. And they'll be like, well, some, some of you probably like, well, Shree, for this person, I've known this person since my, since my eyes was at my knees and all this. Well, if you've known them since your eyes was at your knees and they're this fake, that means they, 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 over the years, things have changed. You grow apart from people. So sometimes you have to change the way you deal with them. Now, I have two really good friends that I grew up with, and I could generally say that they're really supportive of me, of anything that I do. Um, you know, they've always been there, you know, come out like the night before in events when I needed them. They making flyers for it. Like, they're really there. See, those are real friends. You know what I mean? When, when they're genuinely putting in time into making something you're trying to accomplish, accomplish. I have a few friends like that, and I thank God for them every single day. Every day. But if you have the friends out there who is just like, really, you know, and you already know, you, you watch, if you're watching this video right now, you already know who that person is. As I'm going through this list, you already in the back of your mind say, you know what, this is so and so. So if you know this is so and so, go ahead and make a change because you know what as soon as you limit your exposure or you deal with them differently you will see that your life the things that you're trying to do is going to start flourishing better 
All right, you guys, that's my time. I got to go to work, okay? It's Motivational Monday. I want y'all to have a blessed, blessed Monday. And again, it is your girl, Dr. Sharifa Clark. Go ahead and like. Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and let me know if you, if from reading this, you realize you got a fake friend in your midst. Go ahead and drop something in the comments. Or if you have a friend who you feel like they got a fake friend in the midst, go ahead and drop me a comment and let me know. Have a blessed day, y'all. Talk to you soon.